Hello and welcome back to Solving Trigonometric Equations. This is Lesson 3C. We are solving equations with a double angle. So here we have 3 cosine 2x plus sine x minus 2 equals 0. Now, as I said in Lesson 3B, we have a look at the single angle here. Our single angle is the x. We have sine of x. So when I'm substituting in for cosine of 2x, <clears throat> excuse me, I must use 1 minus 2 sine squared x. As we have a sine x, that's just, I've missed the 1 minus 2 sine squared bit off the side there, guys, but the substitution is 1 minus 2 sine squared x equals cosine 2x. Okay, the reason why I do that is to get all terms, all trigonometric terms to be sine x. I don't want sine x's and cosine x's here because we won't be able to factorize. So I'll substitute and expand the bracket. Now, be careful here because quite common, uh, well, not really common, but maybe two or three pupils in a class might do this. So three times one is three. And then we just forget to multiply this term by three. Okay, so just be very careful there. So expand the bracket. And then we have three minus two. So minus sine squared x plus sine x plus one equals zero. Uh, before factorizing, I would essentially move every single term to the right-hand side, which is going to make 6 sine squared x minus sine x minus 1. Just so much easier to factorize a quadratic with a positive coefficient of the squared term. Basically, make sure this number is positive. So again, you've done lots of factorizing for practice. So this would come out as 3 sine x plus 1, bracket 2 sine x minus 1. So we need to solve both of these brackets equal to zero. Again, quick check. Is it radians or degrees? It is in degrees. 3 sine x plus 1 equals zero. So 3 sine x equals negative 1. Divide through by 3. Find the inverse sine of a third. That is not an exact value. So this is definitely a calculator question. The previous two could be done without a calculator. So these questions can turn up on calculator or non-calculator papers, in case you're wondering. So our angle will be 19.5 and also 180 minus 19.5. And solve 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. Oh, I've just noticed that's wrong, isn't it? I've not ticked my quadrant diagram, and I've made a mistake that is quite sloppy. So I will need to put a line through that. So guys, obviously, be as careful as possible. Don't be sloppy like I've just been there. So I should be looking in this quadrant and in this quadrant. So that would be 180 plus 19.5. So that would be 199.5. And also 360 minus 19.5, which should be 340.5 degrees. Okay, and solving 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0. So add 1 to both sides, divide through by 2. So x equals 210 and 330. And again, that is wrong. So I've looked at the wrong part of the quadrant diagram. So that is particularly poor. But we can just change that now as I've just spotted my mistake. Okay, so positive sign. So we're looking in the first and the second quadrant. So the angle we have and also 180 minus that angle. So our four solutions are 30, 150, 199.5 and 340.5 degrees. So again, I've, we should write those out in order to give all four, all four solutions together. But as I'm struggling to write with a mouse, I'm not going to do that. But I seriously suggest that you guys do that.